Jennifer, first and last, first I wanna say, just take a deep breath, my love. Enjoy this moment. Today will be filled with many firsts and many lasts. Today is the day that for the very first time, we will no longer be two, but join together as one. Today is the last time you have to call me your fiance and the first time that I get the privilege to call you my wife. When I think about John David and Jennifer, the words that come to mind are answered prayer, pride, unconditional love, grace, forgiveness, and finally, celebration. These are the words that come to mind when I think of them. If you know their story, then these words are already familiar to you. To my son, John David, Today, son, is answered prayer. Even before you were born, your mother and I prayed for Jennifer, even though we did not know her. Our prayer was that God would deliver the perfect wife for you. I believe that God had that exact person picked out for you, and I just stood on that promise that he would deliver God's woman for you, and today, he answered that prayer. Jenny, I just want to start off by saying thank you. Thank you for showing me what a good friend is. Thank you for teaching me what it means to be yourself no matter what others think. And thank you for being one of the best friends I've ever had. I remember meeting you like it was yesterday. We connected instantly and our friendship has only grown ever since. Your life is contagious, your personality is radiant, and your heart is huge. I've seen a couple of different versions of you over the years, and I have to say the version of you with JD is my favorite. To JD. <laughs> Now, um, don't worry, it won't last all night, but I'm going to say that this glorious lady that you're going to make your wife tomorrow is my best, best friend. And if any of my long paragraphs about our friendship can say anything to you, I hope that this sticks hard. She will always care for you because she always, always has. Knowing all that love, laughter, and support that she's poured over us and our friendship over the past almost 10 years, it's just a sliver of the piece of life pie that y'all will share together. And that's maybe God's sweetest treat. I'm so happy for you both. <laughs> and I'm thankful to be here with you all. Let's whoop it up. <laughs> Love Jennifer unconditionally, our third word. As you prepared for the gifts that you were gonna give Jennifer, I saw a little bit of me in you, your sentimental side. You kept gifts and notes that you and Jennifer shared when you were dating in high school. You see this? Oh, hang on, it's coming out. Coming out. I will follow. <laughs> no way you can get it out. <laughs> this is the first gift that your mother ever gave me. When we were in college, we were poor, but we look forward to what this said because it says, Smile, Friday's coming. And that's what we live for because Friday meant that that was the time that we were gonna to get to spend a long time together. 
God knew I needed a brother to have a forever best friend, to protect me from any harm in this world, to be my cheerleader through it all, to have someone who is always in my corner, to have someone who will get into mischief with me every now and then as well. I feel I may have had a part in his extraness, especially his good looking style and his more shoes than any girl you will ever meet. But I say all this because my brother is someone who is very observant. He pays attention to all the details. He watched me get my heart broken more than a few times, and he held me while I cried and listened to what I was always looking for. I've seen this over the years and how he treats Jenny, from the over and beyond homecoming and prom proposals, and I'll never forget running through Walmart grabbing flowers and candles to set up in her driveway before she made it home one year, to the just because gifts because he saw something she would love. But more importantly, I have seen how he has prayed for her countless days before they met and throughout their entire relationship. His love and prayers for Jenny have been present from the day that they met. His love for her is pure and true and as Christ loves his bride. Jenny is John David's true soulmate. She completes him. She shows him love and grace and she is selfless and loves with her whole heart. She's the true definition of a supportive partner supporting John David in his call of ministry and any adventure that he goes on. I've seen Jenny grow into this incredible woman who loves Christ first and her soon to be husband second. Jenny is the person that was made for John David. And since their journey began in high school, he always knew this was the girl he would marry. When I see him talk about her, his eyes sparkle and always light up. She is and always has been the love of his life. Jenny, this week has been very emotionally hard on me because I know tomorrow my spot as John David's number one girl gets passed down to you. And I couldn't think of a more perfect girl for that spot to go to. I also know as you take on this role in his life that I gain a sister, the sister I always wanted, the sister that God knew that I didn't need as a child, but as an adult. I love you both dearly. John David, thank you for always being my person, my best friend and my ride or die. And Jenny, I'm beyond excited to welcome you officially into our family. And thank you for loving my brother the way that you do. Cheers to a lifetime of adventures together. Cheers. It's too late. Oh, just smile. I'm supposed to turn now. <laughs> oh, my. Hi. I love you so much. I love you too. Thank you. Thanks for... Absolutely. Thanks for letting me marry I'm excited. I am too. Never fear. I got some good words. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say them too fast. Yes, ma'am. Okay. We'll go slow. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, I want you to know how much I love you. I love you too. And how thankful I am for you. And how happy you make my son. You mean the world to me. You're my girl. Okay. Thank you. And I'm here for you for whatever is necessary. And you know that. No doubt I'm feeling a change. I'm feeling a change running down me. Now, now, there's change coming. Now, there's change coming. Now, now, there's change. Who has the rings? I do. I do. I do have the rings. Okay, good job. Thank you. Good job. <laughs> he did not throw. Okay, good job. Whoop, there's oh. one. <laughs> it's okay. At least it wasn't mine. <laughs> exactly. These rings are an outward symbol and visible symbol of an inward and spiritual grace significant, significant, <laughs> signifying to us the union between Jesus Christ and his church. We ask God to bless these rings. You have declared your consent and vows before God and these witnesses. May God confirm your covenant and fill you both with grace. Now that John David and Jennifer had given themselves to each other by solemn vows, 
with the joining of hands and the giving and the receiving of rings, I announce to you that by the power of the state of Louisiana, that they are now husband and wife. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. You may kiss your bride. It is my honor and privilege to introduce to you, for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. John David Broussard. David, you are everything I've ever dreamed of. I am so lucky and blessed I get to call you my husband today. Our love came back stronger, fuller, and surrounded by more faith and love than I ever imagined. I'm so excited to be able to start this new chapter with you, my best friend forever.